Willkommen vor den Empfangsgeräten. Ich bin Mongo und Zerkum von den Frakta und ich bin wieder ein Konsortium der Master Edition. Hm. Ich weiß nicht genau, was das jetzt ist, die Master Edition. Ich nehme an, das einfach nur, weil es schon Version 1.25 ist und dann ist es halt Master Edition. Ne? So, äh, richtig schlau geworden bin ich jetzt noch nicht aus dem Spiel, deshalb würde ich sagen, wir spielen das mal noch ein bisschen weiter, um einfach mal herauszufinden, was wir hier vor uns haben, denn äh, die Heilige Mission des Infraktor Games Archives besagt ja, dass ich äh, schon es so gestalten soll, die Videos, dass äh, interessierte mögliche Spiele, also quasi ihr, aus diesen Videos heraus äh, sagen könnt, ja, doch, oder... Äh, nee, eher nicht. <lacht> und dementsprechend sollte ich ja idealerweise herausfinden, nicht nur, äh, dass es das Spiel gibt, wie es aussieht. Die Punkte sind soweit klar. Äh, also ja, Punkt 1 brauchen wir nicht weiter ansprechen. Punkt 2, gut, Grafik ist so ein bisschen altbacken, aber ist absolut okay. Äh, drittens, aber wäre der nächste Punkt, was ist das überhaupt für ein Spiel? Und äh, was machen wir hier überhaupt? Und der Punkt ist halt hier gerade eben noch so ein bisschen so, hä? <lacht> Keine Ahnung. Bis dato spielt es sich wie ein Adventure. Äh, wir, wir laufen herum, labern mit Leuten, gucken uns Sachen an, äh, lassen uns eine Geschichte erzählen. Das ist äh, sehr wortreich bis dato schon. Gott, gucken wir mal. Das mit dem Holo, Holodeck, ich nenne es jetzt einfach mal so gerade eben, das war schon so ein bisschen verwirrend, äh, weil äh, da, da geht es hauptsächlich um Waffenausbildung. Also entweder kommt da noch irgendwas entsprechendes oder das war jetzt einfach mal so ein eingeschobener Gimmick. Gucken wir mal. Was ist jetzt eigentlich mein Quest? Äh, okay. Bishop Six, welcome to the medical bay. This place is disastrous. I do apologize. Oh, come on, Kieran. Greet our new bishop. Bishop? It's nice to see you again. It's nothing. What can I do for you? It was a 2D. Through your MUVI. The device I implanted behind your ear when you first boarded Zenlil. I told you this before. I can monitor all of your vitals and even help in more severe emergencies. Yes. It is a 32-inch Toshiba from 1995. One of the many televisions I've managed to acquire over the years. The best in my collection is a 3-inch General Electric Octagon from 1928. Notice he is actually proud of that fact? Your what? If this is true, then what are you doing here? Yes, Bishop, indulge him. <laughs> you have traveled through time and space to be here, yet you do not understand your purpose. Is your arrival here a mistake of some kind? Such as Kira from Continuum. <laughs> I tried to warn you, Bishop. He loves his sci-fi. So, you are saying that we are in some sort of pseudo-matrix scenario. Are you Neo? What is a matrix scenario and who is it? Actually, never mind. Don't tell me. And I was only upholding your joke by attempting to be funny myself. Alana says I need to join in on the fun more often. So I did. Was I part of the fun? Uh, keep practicing, Kieran. <laughs> keep practicing. Oh, Bishop. Alana was telling me you were acting strange earlier. Said you seemed a little... mixed up. If you'll just step over here and lay down, I'll run a full body scan. Just to be sure. This will just take a few seconds. 
It's perfectly harmless. I will only take as much time as necessary. How is that even possible? I'm not entirely sure. Bishop, you have more simultaneous synapses firing than what should be possible. It's as if there are two of you, housed within the same brain. Two of him? That doesn't make any sense, does it? Is this some kind of anomaly? Yes. Unless the bishop has an explanation for us. If he has never seen it before, then it is undoubtedly very rare. Whatever this is, I'd certainly like to run some more scans from our base in BC. Maybe after your induction ceremony. Now, we've got a lot more cleaning to do around here. Oh, <laughs> you mean you do? I will return to my Command VR, if there is nothing else you need, Bishop. Good day, Bishop. It was really nice meeting you. Hey guys, I think I've got something here. I've been keeping a line open on our two fighter escorts outside, hoping they'd break the silence and speak to Angelo. Well, one of them just did. And, uh, well, you gotta hear this for yourselves. Tell me if you want me to patch the recording through your CNC. All right, Pete. Here it comes. This is Operation Forerunner, calling for Angelov. Come in, Angelov. What do you want? I told you to be silent until the next phase. I know, sir, but but I'm having second thoughts about all of this. Uh, the plane is, well, it, it's very large, sir. And so the harder it will fall, yes? Remain where you are, or... Wait a minute. Is this line secure? Did you run this call through the program I told you to use? Oh, no sir. I guess I did not. I'm sorry, sir. Just hold your position and wait till the next phase. And wait. If you're listening to this, and I know that you are, you can tell your knight that her new bishop is about to have a very bad day. All right, everyone. That puts us on high alert. I want you all prepared for whatever this next phase turns out to be. <laughs> yes, boss. But you won't catch me worrying. All right, B. I've unlocked my sanctum. Uh, cockpit. Come by and say hi. Yeah. Okay, Mum. Look, we need to say goodbye now. No, no, no. Don't, don't tell me to shut my mouth. It's not nice. Uh, no, Mum. You need to rest. Yes, rest is good. We'll... We'll talk later tonight, when you're feeling better. Yeah. Uh, goodbye, Mum. Uh, <laughs> sorry about that, V. Uh, welcome to the nerve center of everything Zenlil. Uh, you see all those buttons and switches all over the place? I actually know what they do. Every one of them. <laughs> How's that for impressive? <laughs> oh, Christ, I wish I was being serious. It's not like this plane doesn't fly itself anyway. A drunk captain wouldn't make much a difference. Huh. Try not to fall asleep, I guess. I started a game with myself a few weeks ago. For every hour I stay awake, I give myself a cookie. Eight pounds later and I'm still doing pretty good. During your missions, I'll be the one guiding your hand, telling you where to go and what to avoid. I can pretty much tap into any security system out there, giving me a bird's eye view on all your surroundings. <laughs> good point. A little dark and creepy, but a bloody good point. Thanks a lot, B. Now we better make sure that doesn't happen, right? Yeah, it sure was. Second greatest love of my life. She's had Alzheimer's for a few years now. Nah. I'll try and call her when I can. I'll visit whenever I'm back in Perth. <laughs> You've got it. I haven't had a flesh and blood partner since first taking this captain's chair. But I say who needs them? Am I right? Besides, I've always got me mum. So B, is there anything else you need? I've got something here I need to concentrate on. I appreciate the offer, but no. Don't sweat it. The King and I have got everything under control. We'll find the bastard. And hey, welcome to the Consortium. <laughs> oh, now that's odd. Something just tripped security sensors on Bishop 8's old bus locker. The keypad was accessed. 
<sighs> it's a long story, but essentially the company we use for recycling most of our equipment hasn't been available to pick it up for weeks. So in Bishop 8's old cab in the bus sits. They claim work order issues and double bookings, but I think the whole company is going down. Yeah. Hey, why not? Saves me the trip. I wouldn't be surprised to find it's just another glitch. Zen has been acting mighty strange today. Although, the bus locker itself is separate from the ship's primary systems right now. It's bloody well disconnected. Hmm. Well, if you're up for it, I'd appreciate the help. The cabin's right across from yours, you can't miss it. Go take a look, and I'll keep an eye out through your CMC. immediately way ahead of your boss is that pawn seven but I I was just with him two minutes ago what happened rook 13 will you please quietly get up there and don't tell pawn 24 anything we need to contain this before the whole ship finds out yes sir on my way and I'm sorry six but I need you there at least until rook 13 can take a look good just until Rook 13 can determine it was an accident. I'm not about to believe someone committed murder on my ship. Okay, Wade. Let me in. My God. I just let him go on his lunch break. He was complaining about having skipped breakfast. I... I was only trying to be nice for once. Alana, you have nothing to blame yourself for. If there is someone to blame for this, then I trust he or she will come forward on their own. Wait. I am here. I just can't believe he's dead. I've been such a bitch to him lately. You are more often than not a bitch to everyone. Not only Pawn 7. Sehr schön. Sag it up, I mean he's only a red shirt. Sehr schön Star Trek. Um, okay, das versteht tatsächlich vielleicht nicht jeder. Um, wenn man die alten Filme, beziehungsweise vor allem die Serie mit dem Captain Kirk in Star Trek Enterprise geguckt hat, dann erinnert man sich vielleicht daran, dass da die Sicherheitsleute rote Hemden trugen. Und um, Jetzt ist so, wenn man eben so eine Kirk-Folge guckt und da taucht ein Typ auf, oder eine Frau, aber meistens waren es Typen, und die hat man noch nie im Leben vorher gesehen in dieser Serie. Und die tragen ein rotes Hemd und die gehen mit auf eine Außenmission. Dann weiß man eigentlich, der ist tot. Das ist ein Statist, der nippelt gleich ab. Und das wird direkt mal sprichwörtlich eigentlich, dass diese Rothemden eben, äh, only in Red Shirt, aus Star Trek im Prinzip, äh, Kanonfutter sind. Sehr schön. I can blame myself if I want to, thank you very much. If I had only kept acting the hard ass, he would still be with me in the crawl right now. It looks as though someone threw his head against the locker panel with enough force to nearly cave in his skull. This was absolutely no accident. Thank you, Kieran. You are not going to like this, but I want you all to exit the room immediately. Nobody gets in or out, not until we reach Ireland. Are you kidding me? At least let us move him to the med containment unit. Here, Kieran, help me put him on the bed. Hmm, my book. What was that, Kieran? Your book? Mind explaining what your book was doing under the dead body of one of my pawns? I cannot explain that to you because I do not know. I noticed it was missing from the med bay this morning. I simply assumed someone had borrowed it. I was apparently correct. Werft ihn in die Brick. It is plausible. 
but also highly unlikely. Remember where you two are. This is not some corrupt military. Now, Alana, I hear your concern, but we can't risk someone seeing you move his body to the med bay. I'm sorry, but forget about the containment unit for now. All of you, listen to me very carefully. This stays between us. I swear that we'll get to the truth when we land an island and we can question everyone individually. I really don't think waiting is a good idea. Someone on board this plane just killed one of my people and I want to know who. If only so I can personally string him up and throw him in the brig. <sighs> Two against one. All right, all right. I'll be quiet. Good. And thank you, Six. Now, if you don't mind, get your asses out of that room. Yes, sir. This is so bloody insane. A murder on a C-3800. It can't be real. I'm going back in the call. Probably see, Angelov's two fighters have just multiplied into two dozen. <laughs> Still not a my girl can handle. Six and Kieran, now is your chance to meet the great Bulgarian nuisance. He's on the holocom now and is acting... well, you'll have to come see for yourselves. Bishop Six, please report to mission operations. Okay, I would say we're going to set the next cut. Um Bevor das nicht wieder so ein langes Video gibt, dann schimpft mich wieder jeder. Nur ist richtig schlau draus geworden bin ich immer noch nicht. Nur ist jetzt halt noch ein Mord an Bord passiert. Jetzt bekommt das Ganze auch noch, ähm, also wenn das mit dem Schießdreh, bedingten Schießdreh nicht gewesen wäre, würde ich ja sagen, ich bin in so einem Krimi-Adventure. Also es wird ja ganz gut erzählt. Ähm, ich würde sagen, ich setze einen Cut und dann sehen wir uns gleich wieder und dann machen wir hier noch ein bisschen weiter, damit man mal rausfindet, was hier eigentlich abgeht. So kann man natürlich auch die Spieler bei Stange halten, die man sie einfach erstmal unklar lässt, was sie eigentlich überhaupt spielen. Wobei, ich nehme an, in der Regel kaufen sich Spiele, die, also die meisten Spiele nehme ich an, kaufen sich ihre Spiele relativ gezielt. Es gibt wahrscheinlich nur eine Handvoll Leute, die so bekloppt sind wie ich und kaufen einfach massenhaft Spiele, ohne genau zu wissen, was sie da eigentlich kaufen. Und versuchen erst dann nach der Installation herauszufinden, was, was sie da eigentlich gekauft haben. Wobei, es, es macht die Sache spannend. Schön, gut, wir sehen uns hier gleich wieder. Bis dann, tschüss.